be great on that field, you gotta have a why. You gotta have a reason for why you do what you do. Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Cool Man 100 x How you guys doing? I'm coming to you with the Red Sea Offense Part 1. I hope you enjoy this offense. Um, to give you an insight of the playbooks we're going to be using, the uh, playbook we're going to be using for the offense is the Broncos Offensive Playbook. So make sure you get that. And that's it. There's no audibles. We're not going to say any audibles. We're going to run it strictly standard the way it ran. And if you're not in the schemes, because you're definitely going to have to scheme your way through this playbook, because it doesn't have all the formations that's in this playbook so you know like i form stuff like that you know kind of like strong or whatever play you know formations like that you don't see in this playbook so it's mostly you're learning how to scheme but in the same instance you're learning how to move the ball with different different oriented plays to move the ball and what makes this playbook more deadly if you have a mobile quarterback it makes it way more deadly than what you expect it to be so, um, first is the Broncos offensive playbook. And if you feel as though you want to shuffle through the formations, if I have a lot of formations, there will be timestamps in the description. So make sure you go to the description and hit the timestamp of the formation that you want to learn in particular. So, we're going to take a look at the playbook. Uh, they have single back, pistol, gun, and that's about it. Only the three main base formations, and they have deuce, deuce, pair, stuff like that. Uh, what we're going to start off with first is single back. Um, a quick formation we're going to wind over is Jumbo Z. Um, what's really good about this play, um, you can definitely scheme out of it. It's very good, but you have to learn how to organize your audibles at the same way. So the first play we're going to work on is uh, called the Ace Zone Strong, which I have a Jumbo Z. One of my favorite running plays to use out of this, I'm going to run a random B. Um, you have to learn how to maneuver with your running back a little bit and try to hit the hole, stuff like that. You can see the hole being crowded there. So you want to try to hit the hole, try to juke your way out of there one more time. Or you can cut to the outside. There's so many variations you can do with this Jumbo Z because there's no pulling guards except the motion guard there, which is your tight end. So you can hit to the outside and be out of here. So that's your base run play out of this formation. It's the HD zone which is very good. Um, next play we're going to get into is the... We're going to get into... Let's see, uh, which is curl flats. Now, what's really cool about this play is that we're going to use curl flats and we're going to flip it. So as you can see here, you can flip the play, uh, the curl up. Now, with the curl flats, what makes the curl flats so good is when you run random play. And you got it as your audible, so you can come out of some different, and you got uh, H zone as your audible, and you got flanker dig, and you got uh, PY corner. Now that pulse route. Now when you run the curl flat, all you want to do here, guys, is put your left tight end there on a slant, and put your tight end that's in the curl routes and a smart route, which is you press R1 there. After you put them in the curl route, you press R1. Now they got a 10-yard space in there. Now you can either uh, put the left wide receiver on anything you want. You can put them on an out route. That's up to you. Now uh, the slant, the first you want to focus on is the slant. He will cut right under everybody and get a good 5 to 10 yards, which is very good. So we're going to go to instant replay and look at this play real quick. Go to instant replay. And you can see here, as both of the curl flats, you can see hits both of them. Like it comes right across the middle and it sucks both of the linebackers up in the middle of the field. So you got a good, good pocket right there to throw and get a good extra yards across the field. Now your wide, now your wide receiver can go on any route that you want. You can face catch, streak, or whatever you want. So that's a good route as well. Now what makes this one little scheme deadly is that after you do that play, you can come out of HB zone and he can motion over and you can get a good extra yards there, cut across the field, stuff like that for that good motion there and you can come down and use the flanker dig in that tight end there i like to put him on a smart route after 10 yards and put the running back on a swing to the right and what's really good you can roll out with your mobile qb which the bears got good through here <laughs> we can see one more time come on flanker dig here put the tight end in a smart route 
and put the running back in a swing route. You can put him in a swing route or a block if you feel as though they too crowded at the line. But I like that, and you can hit that tight end right there. That's really good. You can hit him. Let's go into that out route so you can get a 10 hour spread. We can go to the instant replay real quick. What's really good about this play is that you can either roll out, hit the hole, or hit the running back on that swing route here. And also, it had the PA end around type of field, so that's really good. And you hit that out route right there for the tight end, or you can look for the route that's going for the streak with the tight end and the end route going for the wide receiver as well. Now, what's really good, it has the PA end around field, which a lot of people do not know. This play has got the PA end around field, so what's really cool about this play. Now, for the PA wide corner, is really good. You want to hit that post route as fast as you can. You want to put the tight end on a drag. And you want to hit either the post route or the tight end route. So it's just depending on what you hit. You got a, you got a pass lead down and you have the tight end wide open. In either case, um, you can go to instant replay really quick. Now what's really cool about this play is that you have a post route here and you got a split two post routes with the tight end and the wide receiver. So he got a good pocket opening right there. So you can definitely hit him in the middle of the field where you pass lead down. Plus, we got the tight end coming out to the out route. And you have also the fullback right there coming out to an out route as well. So, as you can, as you, if you really look at the play, you have another PA end around on the left side of the field. A lot of people look at this playbook because they come on in play action and pay attention. You've got another PA end around and you got blocks up the field, as you can see there. So, this book is very scheme, it's very scheme based. So, you have to very pay attention to how much you can really use this one formation to beat your opponent. So that's really good as well. So um, another play, uh, that's for the curl flat. So let's say um, you have your base audibles and you want to come on as something different, which is the play I really would concern is the uh, PA misdirection. Now what's really good about the PA misdirection is you have a play with a motion out of it. So what I would do is put the tight end on a drag and you have the tight end crossing routes there, and he comes on the play action there with the misdirection, and you can throw to either side. So that shows you that you have two different crossing routes coming up the middle of the field, and you have the tight end split crossing routes, which is good. So after he do the misdirection, he'll be posing as the run. So you have two ways to throw this. You have the two crossing routes on the drag, you might get it picked off, but if you pass lead down and wait a little bit longer, it might work. Then also you have the other crossing route here, which is very good as well. So you can either look for both crossing routes or the post route going across the middle of the field, which is very good as well. We can run this play one more time. You look at the little post route he's going, or you can run the play as motion. It doesn't matter. I just like to put him on a drag, which is very good. So when you run that, you got the blocking upside of the field here. So you got time to run up the field as well. So that's a good formation as well. Um, let's see here. Pretty much going on everything over in Jumbo Z that I use. So that, that one play, you can just scheme down the whole field. Pretty much the rest of the running plays, I really wouldn't use except the HB dive. That's self-explanatory. The power O, you can use, but the motion is, you know. But you can use this as well. Like the power O. If you um, pay attention to it, it has the PA in the round field. Um, you can put the tight end on the drag if you want, or you can uh, leave it as is. It doesn't matter, or you can take the motion out. After he do the pat, you have the PA in the round field there, so you can do the motion, whatever. I just threw the ball and the play go over. <laughs> so, um, what's really un unheard of in this playbook is very handed. Uh, ooh, very handed. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Fuck, why can't I say, um, Hidden, hidden, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> Word I'm looking for. Hidden is that every, pl every, damn near every formation has a PA end around. And a lot of people, and I figured that out, like, every formation have a PA end around. And, and this is the Jumbo Z. And you can see here that you have different levels of concepts to throw to. You have your first level, which is your your uh, fullback, your second level, which is your drag tight end, your third level, which is your uh, medium throw here, and your fifth is your streak. So you have a PA end around field with the Jumbo Z. So you can use Pyro if you want. Just put that all within your scheme. 
Um, another one out of Jumbo Z. Um, let's see here. Um, not too much stuff you can use. You can use the misdirection motion if you want. Very explanatory. Uh, you just want to work your schemes a little bit. The counter works, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't use it as my base play to come out in. But it works. I just want to use it. But what really works is when you flip the play and make it go to the heavy side of the field. And you get a bigger gap opening. So that's really good as well. So if you want to do that, that works for you. Um, that will definitely help you out in the long run. Um, and what's really good about this is you come out, if you feel as though the counter is good, you can audible to the base plays, like I told you. And do the adjustments like I said so that definitely help you out in the long run um, let's see here the next formation we're going to be working on is the deuce um, the single back deuce is very very uh, very good which is I might do this in the next video so um because it's, it's a lot of stuff in the deuce it's, it's a lot of stuff so that's gonna be in a separate video I hope you enjoyed the jumbo Z set uh, the Jumbo Z set is a whole scheme you can run out of with a PA in the round field. So I hope you enjoyed that first set. So we're going to work on the deuce next in the next video. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And the playbook we're going to be using is the Broncos playbook. That's where you'll find all these plays are at. No audible adjustments. We're running all the standard audibles. And it's a very good scheme. And uh, also, guys, if you want the Red Sea defense, it's only, I think, $4 or something. I don't know. I think it's four dollars so stay tuned to the end of the video if you're interested in getting a defensive playbook mm -hmm. with the red sea defense it feels like the offense is good so um see how long if y'all gonna be great on that field you gotta have a why you gotta have a reason for why you do what you do Blue dream by the bouquet till I'm blue face on a Tuesday. Then I have some. Blue dream by the bouquet till I'm blue face on a Tuesday. Then I have some. Blue dream by the bouquet till I'm blue face on a Tuesday. Then I have some. Blue dream by the blue dream by the blue dream by the blue dream by the blue dream. Blue dream by the bouquet till I'm blue face on a Tuesday.